Yeah. Okay, I'm always thinking when it's when it's really bright, I can never decide where the to position myself. But hopefully it's alright, darling. So grab yourself some weights, guys, if you're watching it at home later. And if you've got a ball, get a ball. If you haven't, don't worry. Um, you can still do all the moves without a ball. So we're just going to, I don't know if this is going to record very well on YouTube, but we'll see. Okay, so if you have got a ball, place it between your inner thighs. If you haven't, hey, hey, beautiful. If you haven't, then you can use a cushion or a yoga block or, oh, that might be Paula who's joining us, Alex. We'll just take a couple of circles, hon. And two, and three. Morning, Paula. Apologies if I'm a bit bright. It's absolutely baking hot. So I'll make sure my cues are good today. And so yeah, if you've got a ball, grab one, hun. If you haven't, don't worry. And we're just gonna come up for 10, and down, for nine, and down, for eight, for seven. I massaged Paula yes, and I did. I massaged Marty yesterday, Paula. I said it's only you I'd work for on a Sunday. And three and two and one. And then just keep coming up but into more come and wise to keep that range of motion in the shoulder. And three and four and five and five. And four, and three, and two, and one. Beautiful. Well done. Keep the shoulders down and back. Two lots of eight. The two, the three, the four, the five. But we've all had a lovely weekend. Mine was great. A few too many glasses of wine on Friday, so I'm going to be good this month. My birthday week went on all week. And um, five more for five, for four, for three, for two. I feel like your weeks go really well and then you just undo all the good work. And then take your ball away. If you haven't got one, like I say, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to draw the tummy in, bring the hips all the way back and come down for ten. Get into those hamstrings. Firing up the waist a little bit. Navel to spine, six, six, eight, seven, six, something's going to my head, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, the other side. So hips back and down, just into a wood chop. Drawing the tummy in for three. For four, life is not good on a sunny day. Five, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Gently in. And all we're going to do is just step side to side. We're just going to warm up the shoulder before we lift up some weights. So just take the ball out and just make a sideways figure of eight. So just side to side. Always feels really quite nice on the shoulder joint. This two, one, switch. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And then take the ball overhead, or just the hands if you haven't got a ball, and take it down and then under. Down, under. Down, under, down, under. Five more, five. Four. If you do my hip classes, you'll be used to this, but jump, running and jumping at the same time. Three. It's too warm for that nonsense. Two. And one. Good, well done, brilliant. In fact, before we lift weights, let's just do a bit of balance work. Yeah, Paula had just, Matt had just got back from Scotland, Paula. She'd been there for a fortnight. She looked so healthy. She said she'd had the best weather ever. You don't often get two weeks of sunshine in Scotland, do you? Kayaking and yeah. And two. And three. And four. Good, four more. If your balance is good, 
today is probably because the sun's out and you're feeling in a parasympathetic like state of mind and one well done and then just take one foot in front soften the knee hips back chin to chest just gently down Gently back up. Yes, I'm trying to be good this week. It's only day one. I'm trying to fast. I'm trying to do a one, only eat between one and nine. Woo! I am stabbing. Hold, draw the tummy in. Take it up. And down. And two. I'm going to make myself a tuna nishwa salad for lunch. Tuna eggs, olives. And four more. For four. I'm sweating. Three. Two. And one. Well done. And again, take the foot in front, gently back, chin to chest, gently down we go. Take a gorgeous breath in at the bottom, in through the nose, out through the mouth. In and out as we gently restart the spine back up. And let's just stick with that balance work. So we're just going to come forwards into that front knee. And we're going to tuck the tailbone ever so slightly, slide the shoulder blades down, draw the tummy in, and we're just going to lift for 10. Lift for 9. Squeeze in the bum. Touch your bum. Feel that it's working. Bones are still. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Bring it in for ten. For nine. For eight. For seven. For six. Five, four, three, two, one. And then grab it if you can. Either just there, knee to knee, or into dancer's pose. Good, take that back foot down to the floor, gaze up to ceiling, take a gorgeous breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In. And out. Straighten the front leg, chin to chest, hips backwards, gently float down. Letting the head just hang. Breath in again. And out. Again in. And out. Soften the front knee, just bring the other knee to join it and then, other foot sorry, to join it and then gently up and then the other side, I think we did three pose on both sides didn't we? And then forward, tuck the tailbone, lift up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, Two, and then in into that hip extension, really, really important hip extension work for strengthening the bum. Five more, five, four, three, two, one, bring it in. Beautiful, back to centre, into your IT band, gently down, even though I did a different one, <laughs> sorry, I always feel like I want to do this stretch like all the time, gently up, and then just come back into that one, sorry, my fault, and then up, Straighten the front leg, 
chin to chest, hips backwards, gently floating down to the floor, letting the head just hang. And then just soften the front knee, bring the other foot to join, and just gently up we go. We're just going to take two little pelvic circles, two in the other direction, and then we're going to lift some weight. So pick whatever mine, I've done some this morning, so these are a bit smaller, so two and a half. So we're just going to, because biceps are easy, we'll do more biceps than other ones. So draw through the tummy. We're going to take it up and then palms in and then overhead to start. So up, palms in, overhead. Good. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done, the other side. <laughs> You're right, Paula. And ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Just looking at me washing all dried. Second love. Two. Oh, and one. Well done. Switch legs again. We're into a bicep curl and a lunge position. So bring it down for ten. For nine. For eight. For seven. For six. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. The other side. And again, down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Back in two. So toes, not toes, uh, heels, they heels, heels together. And just draw the tummy and push the ribs down. So in out and then drop, back up, in, out, drop. Try and keep the shoulders down and lend to the crown of the head. Four, four more, three, quite hard this, two, and one. Well done. And then into that second position, nice and low. So you've got a bit of endurance for the muscles in the thigh. Push back for 10. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two. Down, other side. Keep the gap between ear and shoulder. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, I might have to send this on Zoom because I'm not sure uh, but my camera looks filthy from here with the, I've just done a massage, so I've had oil all over my hands. And down, lift up, come back down, take it out again, this time take it forward and back, keep the ribs closed. Two, three, four. has asked me to do the massage outside but I'm a bit like I thought it were a good idea and I'm like but it's hot three four five five four three two one well done beautiful 
Take it down, back into biceps, shoulders down, lift one heel, lift up, wait. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Now a front raise, one, two, keep that core engaged, three, four, four, three, two, one, well done, back up, take it straight into a tricep, take it out, nice and straight, bend at the elbow, fur two, fur three, four, stretch just keep pushing in pushing them hips away to get into them ql muscles round take the left arm out in front bring it across like that and then see that top hand into our normal tricep stretching and just see if you can i'm not very good on this side if you can bring that other hand up to me, they only just touch on this side for me, my fingers. You'll see how on the other one I'm much more flexible. Back to centre, so switch legs. Again, just this one push out in the other direction. To centre, take it out, push it in, cross into deltoid. And then again, just in, push down. My hands are really ugh, oily. And then up. So this one's much better for me. Well, I could normally if my hands weren't slipping. Again, it just gives you an indication if you've got a little bit of tightness. Most people can touch one side and struggle with the other one. And then just side to side. Oh, and we'll do a little bit more through kind of legs. So we'll card it up just a little bit because it is warm today, so not too much. So we're going to take our arms like this. This always reminds me of Jane, Alex, because she always has to do her arms like this. So this, and as you lift your leg, like that. Sometimes I do it the other way, mess around with people's brains, but. Four, four, three, two, one. The other side, down and lift for eight. 
for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This time we're going to come down in a big toe like a tondu. So you go down and tondu. I apologise to anyone who speaks the beautiful language of French. Tondu. And two, fondu. The other side. Down, lift, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alternate. One. In fact, kick out up front. Two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Well done. We're going to come up quick and then down quick. So we're going to go one and down and two and down. Three, four, four, three, two, one. We're going to step out to the side. Step out in. Back to the other side. Two, three, four, four. Step out to the side and then a little squat in the middle. Down, out, two, out, three, out, four, four, three, two, and one. La, la, la. Well done, good work. Just a little circle. Circle back. And we're just going to walk in some walk-out planks in between each plank. I know it's hot. Well, it is here. Alex is in a nice cool room. We're going to walk it out. And you can choose, guys. You can try and hold plank if you want. You can come down on your knees and just draw your tummy in. Or you can do some knees in. So chin to chest. Bring the hips back. The weight forwards. Have a little rest at the bottom, guys. Just to stretch into the lower back and the legs. You can have a little... Kind of rock, fold and back, and then walk into that plank position. So your modification in plank is knees down, just draw the tummy in, and just keep trying to lift for a bit and lower, or full plank, or knee in, knee, 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 knee. Keep your neck long. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips nice and high, heels down. Take a nice breath in. Feel that lovely lengthening of the calf muscle. Walk it all the way back. Gently up. We'll do that one more time. Plank really raises your temperature, doesn't it? Chin to chest, hips back, gently down. Again, feeling that stretch. This time, if you're in plank, sorry guys. If not, just have a little rock side to side. Notice if one set of hamstrings are tighter than the other. Walk it out. Again, hold. Draw the tummy in. Hold that position. And then back again for one. For two. For three. For four. For four. For three. For two. For one. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, knees down, big toes together. Come and try and sit on your heels and then just gently onto the floor.
Let's walk around to one side, take the top hand over the bottom hand, reach it long. The other side. Okay guys, let's come down onto our front. So do like we did similar when we were standing into hip extension work. So you can just find yourself comfortable in this position through the top part of your body. Whether you want to turn your head one way or you just want to have the forehead down. The important bit is all this area. So when you're laying prone, push the pubic bone into the mat and feel your tailbone tuck. And squeeze the glutes if you feel like you need some more support through the um, bottom and the back, but more importantly, think about that hot stone on your belly button and you are pulling, pulling your belly button in and away from the mat, in towards the spine. And all we're going to do is keep in that really strong neutral position and just lift the leg. So you're just lifting and squeezing. So a squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze your kind of arms down by your side, wherever you feel comfortable. Keep the core engaged, whatever you do, don't let that belly drop. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it. We're not doing the other side just yet. We're now going to take it into prone work for the upper back. Push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in, slide the shoulders down and just lift. And then take your arms down by your side. Again, draw the belly in, bring your arms out. Circle for four, circle for three, two, one. Circle back, four, three, two, one. Back in, lower back down, have a little wiggle. Start again, push your pubic bone down, draw your tummy in, slide your shoulders down, length through the crown of the head, lift. Bring your arms out to the side, turn your palms up, neck nice and long and just pulse. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Gently back in and lower. And then come immediately onto the side so you're working that leg that the butt that you've just been lifting. Oh, sweating guys. <laughs> lift up that bottom waist, lengthen the top leg. So we're just going to lift for 10. Lift for 9. Lift for 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. Three, two, one. We're going to hold it, we're going to point the foot, we're going to take the leg forward, lift it up, bring it back and down. Forward, lift, across, down. Along the bottom, up the side, along the top and down. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Well done, then we're going to circle, circle for six, circle for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. We're going to circle back, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're nearly there, we're going to pulse, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, two, three, four, well done. Bring the heel into book, pull that thigh backwards, take a nice breath in. We'll stretch the bum in a bit guys, but come back to lie on your tummy to do that other side. So again, push the pubic bone down into the mat, draw the tummy in. Lengthen that other leg now and just lift. So you're kind of lifting the thigh away, squeezing the butt. You have to do quite a few of these to feel it. Squeeze, 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 squeeze,
squeeze. Make sure you're in neutral spine. Take a little hold of the quad again, so pull that heel into bum. And the other one. And then just gently bring yourself back. Take a little child's pose. Gently up, get onto your other side to do that other leg. So again, we're just going to keep the hips level, we're going to draw the tummy in, we're just going to lift for 10, lift for 9, for 8, 7, we can always take our arm over if you want, just improve that balance a bit more, 4, 3, 2, and 1, hold it, take it into a rectangle, forward, lift, back and down. 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 Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Good hold. Circle six. Circle five. Nearly there with the booty. Four. Three, two, one, circle back, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, forward, up, back, down, forward, up. Back down, forward up, back down, forward up, back down, other way, forward across. I couldn't remember if we've done them, if we have. My bum's telling me we already have two more, two, ah, and one. <laughs> and then come over onto your back, let's stretch that glute out first, then we'll do the other one. Oh, I think we might have done that, I apologise if we have, guys. Oh. I'm going to have to move a little bit today because that is very tight. So we're into abdominals. Stretch the back of the hamstrings first and the calf, just pointing and flexing, pointing and flexing, in and out, in and out, and just circle, circle back. And just the other glute, so just push away. And then just point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, and in, out, in, out, in, out. 
Well done, beautiful. Okay, let's go into some abdominal work. So I want to take you from level one, level two, level three. That doesn't mean that level three necessarily works your heart. For some people, it's just all dependent on the posture really and how good a position you're in. So I love just doing this one where our knees are bent, feet are on the floor. Give yourself your pelvic tilt, forward and back. Make sure you are in neutral spine. Little gap underneath the lumbar spine. The ribs are touching and they are on the mat. Chin to chest. You lift as high as you can onto the bottom of the shoulder blade, but then you only lower a little bit. So you're kind of thinking about your shoulder blades, you're lifting onto the base of them and then just coming back, but not bringing the head down. Fur three. Some people prefer this morning, one of my ladies preferred it in a bent knee, the other one preferred it in a, or the other ones preferred it, should I say, in straight. If you don't feel it's targeting your um, abdominals and you want something a bit more, you can come down, bring your legs into tabletop, neutral spine, and do it like that. Or to increase it even further, you can take one leg out and bend one knee. Lift. So you're not coming all the way back to the floor. Two. Three. Four. Four, three, two, one. If you're doing this one, switch. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Switch one more. Eight, seven, six. shoulders up, you can also. If you want to try your single leg Pilates original, one hand comes to the side of the calf, the other one goes to the inner knee and you just switch, switch, switch. So the opposite hand goes to the inner knee of the other leg and then the same hand goes to the outside of the lower leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we're into a nice couple of stretches, 4, 3, 2, and one, well done. Bring the knees in again, have a little roll around. Roll the other way. Oh, lunch time. <laughs> and then just glue your legs together. Take the knees in one direction, the head to the other. Inhale, let the belly rise. Our breath, draw the tummy in. <laughs> Back to centre, the other way. Inhale, let belly rise. Out breath, draw the tummy in. Back to centre. Take the right leg long, the left leg comes into tabletop, opposite hand goes to the outside of the thigh. You bring it over into that deep supine spine stretch. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out, breath, release, back down. Two more. Last 
last one. Gently back to centre. Just hug that knee into chest just to stretch that back a little bit more. And then the other side. So opposite hand to the outside of the thigh. Turn your head the other way. You don't have to bring your foot all the way to the ground. You can have a little play around with it. My right side's a little bit more tender, so I kind of have to just push through it slowly. And again, take some deep breaths in as you let the belly rise. Out, breath, release. And again. Gently back to centre, just hug that knee in again. And then just gently come up onto your front. So just take a cow pose. Have a lovely slow cat. Position as though you're going to do a push up, bring your elbows backwards, your chest and your chin to ground, reach up into that upward dog, take a breath in, tuck in the toes, come back into plank position, lift the hips nice and high, walk the hands back just a little bit, take the right heel down, hold it. The other side. Good, and then one at a time. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Walk the hands back a little bit more. Both heels together. Hold that deep stretch as you walk your hands all the way back to feet. Have a little sway. Don't worry if your hands are not flat on the floor, guys. You might have fingertips down. That's absolutely fine. You might need a bit of softness in the knee. Try and do a little circle on the spot. Circle back. Soften the knees and bring the feet out wider, just so you can crouch lower, have a little glide in action. And then softly re-step, back up to centre, standing position, and take a couple of little circles, and a couple of little circles back. And thank you all! Yeah, I'm not sure how visual that was, guys.